Thank you for joining us at XM.com for today's market comment by Rafi Boyajian. I'm Maria Pashardvis. Shares on Wall Street surged on Monday after the U.S. Treasury said it will borrow less in the current quarter than what it had estimated back in October. The announcement took many investors by surprise, sparking a relief rally as the Treasury was widely expected to slightly increase its borrowing requirements amid a burgeoning budget deficit. Treasury yields declined across the board, with a 10-year yield slipping towards 4% today. The drop in yields just ahead of the slew of big tech earnings releases and the Fed's policy decision potentially sets the stage for a week-long rally for U.S. equities, should there not be any negative surprises. Microsoft, Alphabet, and AMD are scheduled to report after today's market close. The optimism wasn't shared in Asia, however, as Chinese indices slumped again despite the recent support measures announced by authorities. The liquidation order for Evergrande has cast another cloud over China's economic prospects, upping the pressure on Beijing to formulate a large fiscal stimulus package. The outcome of Wednesday's FOMC decision will also be crucial for equities this week amid the frenzied speculation about how soon the Fed will cut rates. The odds for a March cut have declined to below 50 percent following a string of solid economic data, as well as some pushback from Fed officials. The U.S. dollar has been mostly range-bound lately against a basket of currencies, as investors await more clues on the path of interest rates before deciding on the next move. However, much of the support for the greenback is coming from safe haven flows, rather than from bets that the Fed won't cut rates soon. The worsening economic outlook in China and the Eurozone, combined with the escalating conflict in the Middle East, are boosting demand for the world's reserve currency, even as yields slide. Gold has been attempting to make a fresh upside move this week on the back of the heightened geopolitical tensions, but a firm U.S. dollar has been getting in the way. The euro remained on the back foot on Tuesday, though somewhat steadier after the preliminary GDP estimate for the final quarter of 2023 showed that the eurozone economy narrowly avoided a technical recession. Growth in the euro area was flat in the fourth quarter, beating expectations of a 0.1% contraction. Thanks for watching today's market comment here at XM.com.